Hey folks, hope you all had a good week. I'd like to give an update on my spy challenge for the fourth week. And this could be a turning point because the spy broke out of its bear channel for the first time since the market started to fall over a year ago. So I'm going to explain how my trades went, how I changed my mind sort of in the middle of the week, and what my thoughts are going into next week. This is looking at the weekly chart, and you can see clearly the SPY has broken out. And I drew a smaller bull channel here because that's what the stock is currently doing. Now if I go to the daily chart, we can see it broken down a little bit more. So last week I mentioned I was bearish because I didn't think SPY would close any days over the top of this channel because even though it's done that in the past, it still closed that day within the channel because it came back down. So I thought SPY would bounce off the top and then come back down and retest the bottom of this upward channel, or at least not go over this line, which has been in place for a long time. I was somewhat right up until Wednesday, but on Thursday, we finally got this breakthrough. My trades were going well for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but Thursday, uh, because I did not expect that huge move up, I had to close one of my positions for a loss. And near the end of the trading day, I changed my mind on where SPY was going. So you can see my tweet here that I put out on Thursday. Um, I had a net loss of $595 because I closed my ratio spread, and that already cost me $250. And then I mentioned that I was bullish for Friday because once the... SPY closes above this line, chances are it's going to go higher. So that's why I bought two calls at a strike of 403 um, with the idea of um, by the next day, Friday, the calls will be worth more than 189, which is what I paid for it. And then of course, on Friday, the stock did go up. So I was able to sell those calls to close my position for a profit. So here's what the final tally looked like for the week. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I did okay. Thursday was a big loss where I not only closed my position and lost money, but I also bought calls, which also cost money. So that's why it's a huge negative number here. Uh, but then on Friday, I was able to sell those 403 calls uh, for a profit. And then I did some other trades on Friday as well and managed to get back 531, which was uh, still not as much as how much I lost on Thursday. But overall for the week, I'm up $186. Now in terms of what happens now, if I go to the 15 minute chart again, um, you can see over here we have Friday. So SPY went up, down, up, and then it got rejected pretty much off of the top of this bull channel that I have drawn in here and it sold off pretty hard. So because of that really large rejection off the top, it kind of makes me bearish going into next week, especially on Monday and Tuesday. Um, another reason I'm bearish going into Monday at least is because even if SPY does continue up the smaller bull channel here that I've made green, the most recent touch of the channel is here at the top, which means most likely the next touch is going to be at the bottom of this channel because the stock likes to go from the top like here to the bottom of the channel to the top to the bottom didn't really make it there to the top. So next time um, it's probably going to hit the bottom somewhere. And then the third reason is because there is this uh, really important resistance line right here at around 410. There was a double top over here. And at both times when SPY reached this level, the market sold off pretty harshly. So if we do eventually go up, the market might do something like this, bounce off the top, come off the bottom, and then continue higher that way. And then finally, why I'm going bearish for Monday and maybe even Tuesday is because we've had one, two, three, four, five, six green days in a row. And also there's the FOMC meeting next week. So before that, I'd be really hesitant to go uh, bullish in the market. So because of all of those reasons, uh, I think the market is set up uh, for a pullback. I don't know about Wednesday because depending on how the Fed speaks, the market could go up or it could go down. But at least on Monday and Tuesday, I would expect there to be um, at least a flattening of the market, or we have a small correction. So for the week, I'm up 186. Total premiums earned is now 641, which makes my return 2.14%, uh, which is once again lagging the S&P 500 because the SPY has returned 6% year to date. So that's almost three times better the performance than what I'm getting so far. But next week, we will see what happens after the FOMC meeting. Again, because I'm selling 
uh, puts and calls mostly, my strategy tends to be more market neutral. So if the underlying goes up a lot, I'm not going to go chase those returns because that can be pretty risky if you're doing options. But speaking of which, the only option I have open right now is just a bear call spread at 411 and 412. And that expires on Monday, January the 30th. Uh, the reason I picked 411 as my short strike is because, uh, like I mentioned, this is a really strong resistance line right here at around the 410.50 level. So 411 is just above that. So I'm basically making a bet that uh, on Monday, the SPY will not close over the previous resistance level over here. The other thing is Monday is right here. Even if I get the direction wrong and let's say the market moves higher and it goes up to the top of this bull channel. Well, the top of the bull channel is at 409.5 roughly. So that's still below the 411 strike that I have. So even if it goes up, chances are this bull channel is going to hold and it's not going to go past that because it tried to go past the top of this bull channel on Friday and it got instantly rejected pretty hard. And I also mentioned on Twitter that if next week SPY closes over 410.5, then instead of being bearish, I'm going to be bullish because that would be the first time that we see uh, higher highs. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Uh, let's just take it one week at a time. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.